I think it's safe to say that y'all girl Cardi B and Offset marriage is finito, over, flopped, and done with. This girl Cardi has been super quiet, has not been putting out any music because she has been too busy focusing on Nicki Minaj's album in ways to sabotage her upcoming tour, allegedly. Now, I think Cardi B needs to run back to Jason Lee and ask him what else does she need to do because everything that she has tried, honey, has failed. And this is her karma for talking down on people, wishing death on people, and that is something that you should not do. I don't care how depressed and sad and miserable you are to wish death on someone is so just so corny, okay? It's given low self-esteem. And talk about low self-esteem. That's the reason why she hasn't put out any music because she knows how she sounds very effed up in them songs. Listen, a lot of people can't figure out the things that Cardi B is saying in her songs like it's given nursery rhyme. I can't forget when she made the bongo song featuring Megan the Stallion. She was rhyming with son, nun, plum, and hun. Like, be for real. My husband is amigo. Your husband is a zero. That is some weak label as bars. And I just cannot believe people want to compare Nikki and Cardi. Like, there's no comparison, honey. Nikki is a rapper, a exclusive certified A-list rapper, someone who is rich, like the richest rapper, well, female rapper in the industry. Okay. And let me just say she's one of the richest rappers because you could actually put uh, Nikki in a category of male rappers because she is that bitch. I don't care what nobody says, but this thing with Cardi B and Offset is just so trifling. That man has shown Cardi so much that he doesn't love or value her and she is still chasing this man. Like what else is he going to do to show her that, hey, I don't want you anymore. Then Cardi B pops out telling people, oh, I got some dick. I got some dick from Offset. Oh, like, girl, you keep telling your business to the internet like we aren't marriage counselors. We do not care about your marriage, honey. Hence why you're falling off. No one is listening to your music. No one is buying your music. And every time Nikki comes out with a banger, here comes Cardi B and her little, you know, fans talking mad shit about Nikki all the time. Especially bringing it bringing up uh Nikki's husband like oh he's a rapist he's this like that man has been so unbothered and has not been mentioning anyone and people love to drag Nikki's name all across the board like what's really the reason because what Nikki is blessed she's consistent she's still relevant and that's why people are so mad just the other day, I mean, other people were saying the same thing, like Cardi B's not a rapper. She's more of an entertainer, entertainer, because her music doesn't really make sense. And that's just a fact. I'm not being biased. There's no need for me to be biased. Like Cardi B isn't a rapper rapper. She's an entertainer. I said what I said, you know, she she could star in some uh comedy because I think she's real funny, but I don't think she's a rapper. But hey. Do not drag us because listen, we are allowed to state our opinions and our feelings and this is a safe space. But let me know what y'all think down below in that comment section. Do y'all think Offset and Cardi B marriage is going to last? Do y'all think there's a possible chance that they will rekindle? Let me see those comments and see y'all next time. And thank you for sticking with us.